Welcome to The Data Janitor. My name is Mike West, and thanks for joining me. In this video, let's start digging into the architecture of Snowflake. In a previous video, we discussed what Snowflake was at a high level. Now let's talk about how the pieces fit together. Snowflake isn't an application you can install on your laptop or your desktop. It can only be installed within the confines of the big three cloud providers. They are AWS, Azure, and GCP. Currently, I believe most of their installations are in AWS. So, the first thing we need is a cloud provider. Let's use AWS for simplicity. Snowflake will have several layers of security. However, for this video, let's start at the very top. A VPC in Amazon speak is a virtual private network. An Amazon VPC enables you to launch AWS resources into a virtual network that you've defined with all the benefits of using the scalable infrastructure of AWS. All right, now let's talk strictly about Snowflake. There are three core layers to Snowflake's architecture. They are the cloud services, query processing, and database storage. The top layer is cloud services. The cloud layer is a collection of services that coordinate activities across Snowflake. These services tie together all the different components of Snowflake in order to process user requests, from Login to Query Dispatch. The Cloud Services layer also runs on compute instances provisioned by Snowflake from the cloud provider. For example, this layer handles access on authentication. It also handles query processing. Recall that a query is a single transaction. If you mistype something, the Cloud layer will let you know. The next layer is called the Query Processing layer. The vernacular for each compute engine inside this layer is called a virtual warehouse. A virtual warehouse, often referred to simply as a warehouse, is a cluster of compute resources in Snowflake. A warehouse provides the required resources, such as CPU and memory, and temporary storage to perform the following operations in a Snowflake session. If you're trying to understand a virtual warehouse, just imagine your laptop without storage. Each virtual warehouse offers compute resources, such as CPU and memory. Data lives at a different level. Speaking of the data layer, let's say we're into that right now. The third and final layer is the storage layer. When data is loaded into Snowflake, Snowflake recognizes that data into its internal optimized compressed and columnar format. Snowflake stores this optimized data in cloud storage. Snowflake manages all aspects of how data is stored. The organization, file structure, structure compression, metadata, statistics, and all the other aspects of data storage are handled by Snowflake. The data objects stored by Snowflake are not directly visible, nor are they accessible to the customer. They are only accessible through SQL query operations running Snowflake. If you're thinking about becoming a data warehouse person, specifically a Snowflake admin, you'll need to know these high-level things. You will be asked about them in interviews. A great interview question is to talk about the three core levels of Snowflake architecture. You'll need to know they are cloud services, query processing, and storage. You'll need to know what a virtual warehouse is. You'll need to know what compute is. You'll need to know that compute is decoupled from storage. You'll need to know that data is stored in columnar format. All of that was included in this short video. I'm going to color code the titles of the videos in the thumbnails, and I'll add a number for each video in the series. I'll also create a playlist for all the Snowflake videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.